I'm a Lego inventor, and for the next eight hours on this clock, I'm gonna be building whatever YouTubers tell me to out of Lego, starting now. Hey, it's us, Jay Stu, and we challenge you to build a Lego spatula, and we need you to cook a full breakfast with this spatula. We're talking eggs, pancakes, do everything with this Lego spatula. Good luck. It's gonna be impossible. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make a spatula with slopes on the end. If we do that, add some slopes. All right, there's the first part of our spatula. That should uh, should be good. Now let's build a handle. Add a few of these. I think I started with like the easiest challenge. These might get kind of crazy as we go on. Now let's lock it together. Whoosh. Perfect, here we have our spatula. This should be able to, you know, grill some burgies. I'm a cook, so I kind of know what I'm doing here. Now we can build a whisk for the eggs. It's gonna take a motor, battery box, put this on here. And then I think this should be a decent whisk. All right, we got this and this. Oh, <laughs> Now we're gonna make some pancakes and eggs. First, you wanna bring this to a simmer, and then you wanna get a bit of butter. Boink. While that's heating up, we can mix our eggs that already cracked. And then we can make our pancake mix. So we're gonna add some milk and oil. Stir that with our whisk. Do -do. This whisk is honestly working pretty good. <laughs> Don't do this, by the way. This looks like pizza dough for some odd reason. And now we probably should have waited for that to get hotter. <laughs> All right, flipping time. Oopsies. <laughs> now before the butter burns, let's cook our eggs. Oh yeah. A little salt and pepper in there. <laughs> There's a slight chance this is melting. Now, plate. Wait, they didn't actually say we had to eat this, right? We used plastic and that could have melted into this. So, don't do this. Okay, that was officially the worst. On to the next challenge. Hey, what's up, Riley? It is Goalless here, and I actually challenge you to build a fully working vending machine all out of Legos. It better dispense the best candy, and uh, if it doesn't work, I will cry. Good luck, bro. All right, here's the plan. We take a base plate and we put a bunch of bricks on it to build a box. And then we get something to dispense. We got chocolate. Obviously, chocolate's good. Let's build up a couple walls. All right, so we built up some walls for the vending machine. We put an EV3 right here. We'll hook all the electronics into that. The next step in a vending machine is thinking through how it's gonna work. So we'll obviously have the chocolate bars in here. And then as soon as you put a coin in, we're gonna do four quarters. This will go whoosh. We need to make it so that they can't just put any coin in there. So we need to build a coin rejection system. Take two of these, two bricks and one plate in between. And then check us out. When you insert a coin, it will slide over the gap. But any other coin you put in, like pennies, nickels, and dimes fall through, so that's perfect. So let's install this. And then the rest of the coins, we just need to reroute down to the bottom here. We just build up a little ramp. Perfect. So for the coins that do make it past this, I think I'm gonna take a page out of Astonishing Studios book and use a light sensor that senses whenever the light changes and we'll just put it right here so that whenever a quarter makes it that far, it'll be like, oh, a quarter's here. Connect that. Now we need to build the thing that actually releases the chocolates. Perfect, now that can just go here. Now if we get a small motor, run an axle through there. Plug this in. Okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> Welcome back everyone, it's coding time. New project, to distance, three quarters, color sensor, is greater than four. We want the motor to rotate, maybe like. All right, so I'm pretty sure I finally finished this. Let's see if it works. You can see it'll reject a penny. Here's a nickel. Sometimes nickels get stuck. But if you put in four quarters, this thing actually works. Put in four, right? Five quarters. It, it costs five quarters. Actually, the thing just moved. But now it's moving the candy, as you can see. So it pushes one candy out, and then it resets for the next one. So now, you can buy another candy bar. One. Now we can have more than one. Whoa, whoa. Uh-oh, uh -oh. I may have broken it that time. This thing works, guys. It just needs some adjustments. 
All right, this thing just needs some fine tuning and this is a perfectly good candy machine. Goals, I hope you like it. I'm gonna eat more chocolate now. All right, the next challenge comes from Eric. I actually messaged him a couple months ago and he says a subscribe button and to make it big. Specifically, he wants a big subscribe button. Let's do like a subscribe button where you put your phone in the back and it automatically taps a subscribe button. How hard can that be? First, we need a triangle. Does that work? That's pretty big. Okay, so the back of this, we're gonna put on a very simple piece like that. Throw an axle on the back like this, which now makes it so that we can press the subscribe button. So now we just need to build the actual subscribe logo out of red. Okay, here we go. This thing can now go in here, but since we don't want it to spin, because that would be annoying, we just add this right here, and it lines up perfectly. Now we have a subscribe button. As you can see, it goes out that way. You push it and it subscribes. Um, we have to figure out that part. I think that should be pretty simple. On the back of this, we just need to put a piece of aluminum foil and then we can just set our phone in a little stand right here. All right, now to make this thing actually tap, we're gonna use a piece like, this is a little rubber piece, and basically, we're just gonna put a piece of aluminum foil on one side, and that should just tap the screen. I think this is just a really dumb, complicated way to press the subscribe button. <laughs> I think it's easier than that. Perfect. So we got our wire, and now if we attach this to this, now we can run this through the wall since there's a hole in it, and then we cover this with foil. Okay, that's great. Slide the wire under. Check this out, guys. It's gonna work so well. It's not working so well. One more thing. All right, Eric. You wanted a subscribe button? Here's a subscribe button. Let's see if it works. It worked! <laughs> okay, it actually did work. Let's go. I'm so subscribed right now. We made a subscribe button that subscribes you to whatever channel's on your phone. That's pretty cool. That, is that pretty cool or is that just me? Like, it, it actually subscribes you. You just push this button. All right, the next challenge is from Zealous. Riley, I know you've already made an Iron Man helmet out of Lego and that looks sick. I'm curious if you can add another piece to the collection by making an Iron Man glove. And can you make it light up in the middle as well? I, th I think I can do that. Okay, so the first step is to steal the light from this. Whoa. Yeah, this is broken, as you can tell by the smoke. Luckily, we have this one, which should not be broken. This should work pretty well. Put this in here. Now we just gotta build a glove out of Lego that will hold this. Grab some mixel joints, and we basically just need to wrap something like this around our hand. Look at that, we're halfway there. Now, we just gotta install this into this. Put this here, stack that on there. We should be able to lock this together with some... Add some of these, maybe. We've created an arc reactor. This is literally awesome. And then we just put this in here and add some pieces to the back. If we connect some plates to these, we should be able to make some fingers and then we can just make everything red and attach the battery pack. Since this thing is extremely uncomfortable, I'm gonna use some of these smooth flat pieces. That way it doesn't rip into my hand. Every single time I put it on and hurt, these go onto our fingers and we can attach these to our fingers using our mechanical hand things. Yeah, there we go. Now we have that. Now we just gotta build up this exoskeleton to cover my hand. Final step. Now, we can put it on. Put your hand in like this. Here we go. And the final step is to take this red wire, bring it around down here, and then you have an Iron Man glove that lights up. This thing is super awesome. Also, it's extremely bright. As you can see, not a lot of functionality, not a lot of movement, but you can still like move your fingers. You got the battery box on the back right here and also some nice detailing. Zealous, let me know how you think this turned out, man. This is probably the coolest piece of Iron Man tech I've made. It is the next day and we got a bonus challenge from Matthew B. So you wanted me to give you a challenge and right now I'm chewing blue bubble gum. So I don't know why, but build a blue Raspberry? Wait, that's not how that works. A blueberry. Build a blueberry out of Legos. Good luck. Wow, this actually might be really hard. Oh gosh, um... <sighs> this is gonna be a tough one, you guys. Just don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. I think we did it! Subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. See ya!